Marshall's desk uh, behind uh, just a quick picture of the warm-up room and onto the stage Giulia Imperio for Italy the Italians who've had a very progressive group of male and female athletes over the last four to five years this young woman just missing out on a medal a couple of years ago in the junior world she when she finished fourth this should be within a range No problem. No problem. A very hyperextended, hyperextension of the elbows. We've got great shoulder lock and elbow lock. There's absolutely no hiding any press outs with this lifter. Scares me sometimes to watch the hyperextension of the elbows, but that's just her. There's nothing she can do about that. Really good lock. Tighten the shoulders. It's a solid opening attempt. Yeah, former European junior bronze medalist. As cleaning of the hall, cleaning of the warm-up room, as we see uh, Julia Imperio. She had a few minutes to put her thoughts together. Going up here, this is a five kilo increase. Obviously, this would uh, give her the lead. Well, the first one was good. So was that. Just look at her body language there. That is nothing but positivity. She's committed, she's determined, she's got a vision, and there's nothing getting in her way right now. Fired up, but controlled aggression. That is exactly what you want when you go to a weightlifting bar. That aggression is from deep within, totally under control at the same time through to full extension. So, uh, Yulia looking for uh, three out of three, so 84 kilos to put herself into first place. And a chance of a medal if she gets this. She knows the importance of it as well, David. I think she heard you. <laughs> 94 kilos for the woman who's already secured a bronze medal in this competition in the first part, Yulia Imperio, improving. Well, she started four kilos behind Sobol. She's now clawed one back, so to speak. She's on fire, isn't she? Coming out here really feisty. I love the aggression. I love the desire, the passion. In the absence of an audience, she's creating her own adrenaline. And this really is a skill. This is an art to be able to do this with nobody there watching in the audience. Really bringing her A game to this competition. Drive is great, nicely to arm's length. Yeah. Good split three. She's two kilos ahead of Christina Sobel. And now, Julia Imperio, who is at the moment in fourth place. So out of the overall medals, not in the clean and jerk medals, but this could make a difference. 97 kilos, her second attempt. Again, super dynamic, super confident, isn't she? I love the way she goes about her work. She's just got this absolute certainty. She knew uh, she was coming out on the stage. She got it clear in her mind. Clarity is everything in uh, trying to execute these sort of weights. She's probably the most aggressive lifter that we've seen in this competition. But it's all within, it's all under control, technically pretty good. Hips are behind the bar a little there, back leg a bit straight, but she's... 
but she's six kilos behind her teammate Sengedi. Now, <gasps> Julia Imperio looking to lift herself up from fourth place in the clean and jerk and overall. This would take her to what, 181. Oh dear. Dizzy, dizzy. It's a shame. Yeah. Real shame. And it wouldn't have really worked either because I'm just looking at three kilos. It would have taken it to 181, but Sobol got to 181 earlier. And she's in second place. I guess, yeah, if she'd got it, she would have overtaken Kambai, but Kambai still got another lift to come. So I understand the tactic, but this was on her limit. 